Hey everyone, we're here today with Teresa and she's got a wonderful story to tell us. She's been through quite a bit, um, so we're here today to kind of let you listen to her story a little bit and um, get, a, get a general idea of what she's went through, what she's dealt with in her life. So Teresa, what, how did you feel prior to coming in here? What, what was life like? Um, before I came in here, I was pretty much in pain, constant pain. Mm -hmm. And how would that, how, how did that affect your life? What? Um, it kept me from basically doing everything. Everything? Mm -hmm. um, as far as your history, you've obviously went through uh, surgery and things like that. And coming out of that, what would you, um, if you it sounded like, because uh, your husband got a hold of me actually. Yes, he did. He got a hold of me through he got a hold of me through email and was asking me if there was anything that we could do. Um, so you came in and we sat down with you and talked to you a little bit and, and kind of laid a few things out for you. Yes. Um, and you decided to give this a shot. Yes. So after you have gone through a um, series of treatments for a couple months or so, how do you feel now? compared to how you felt prior to coming in here? Um, when I came in here, um, I felt that this was my last resource, my last alternative, mm -hmm. because I had been, I had the surgeries, I had physical therapy, um, you know, went through several um, treatments of physical therapy, and when I came here, I was in so much pain that um, I couldn't walk across the street you know, for my job, mm -hmm. um, and um, after, you know, sitting with you and talking about, you know, what you could do for me, I decided that, you know, it was my last hope, and it has made a tremendous difference in my life. Yeah, you, um, she, she had been everywhere and done everything. She listened to everybody, and, and it got to a point where, um, she had to kind of go out on her own and figure this out for herself. So that's when um, she came in here and she was concerned. She really wanted she, she really wanted her life back. She really wanted to um, have that joy back in her life again, uh, living as close to a pain-free life as you can get. Obviously, there are certain things that go in that where you may never necessarily be completely out of pain. However, it, when, when your whole life is consumed with with pain and, and you really don't have a life, you really could take just about anything and you've come certainly a long way. Now yes. it wasn't easy, I'll be honest with you, you know, there was a, it's a lot of trial and error when it comes to um, the people like this just from a standpoint of everybody's a little bit different and you gotta take in their history and the perspective and, and we really tried a lot with you, you know, it, it wasn't easy, it wasn't a cookie cutter approach by any stretch of the imagination, we had a relatively uh, a good idea of which direction we needed to go in, but you never know how people are really going to respond. So we did quite a bit with you. She went through quite a bit of treatment. Um, but again, what, where would you say you're at now compared to where you were before you came in here from a pain perspective? Um, right now, I am pretty much pain free. No, that's incredible. So you're talking 90 to 95 percent better than I would say. Oh, I'm not going to yeah. put 100 percent on that. No, no. Because um, naturally, so you're always going to have good days, bad days. Mm -hmm. I would imagine. Um, but 90 to 95 percent better. And yes. let me tell you something. That is incredible compared to when her and her husband first came in here that first day because um, they were told that this is just the way it's going to be. And you do not have to live with that. You do not have to just sit back and say, well, I guess this is just how my life's going to be. And and certainly, Teresa's life has changed pretty dramatically. Um, I can see it in, in her, just the way her presentation is, her, her attitude, uh, the whole nine yards. I mean, she's very uplifted now. It's a beautiful thing. And I'm so happy for you. I really am. I mean, from from the, the, the day you came in, um, I knew it was going to be work. We both did, I think. Yes. 
Um, but I think at this point now, you've gotten to a certain point in your life to where I am so happy I was able to help you get somewhere. And, and it wasn't on me, trust me. Th th this woman put in a lot of work. She, she did what she had to do, and she did it. She didn't sit back and, and take days off. She, she, she did what she needed to do. Um, and it certainly shows. It certainly shows. Um, so, I'm, again, I'm so happy for you. What would you tell somebody if you met somebody that was in your previous situation uh, and they were looking for anything God could point them in the right direction? What would, you, what would you say? I would tell them to definitely contact your office, mm -hmm. have that first initial appointment, um, because they will help you. Um, it's been a journey for me. Um, but I am so thankful for you and Dr. Erica for what you have done for me. You, you've changed my life. You well, really have. Uh, I thank you for that. I mean, I appreciate that. Um, again, it is. Um, you don't have to live. You don't have to live and pain that in agony. And just because somebody tells you that's just the way it's going to be doesn't mean you have to accept that. And this woman did not accept that. And they looked for everything. And sure enough, they found us. Um, again, her, her husband emailed me, and, and that's how it all started. And we sat down in the exam, and we went over the whole nine yards. And straight out of the get-go, they knew that this wasn't going to be easy. And, and you know, we were going to do whatever it takes to get her better. Um, but again, it really depends on, on it depends on what you're willing to put in to it, um, it because it certainly takes effort, as you know, right? It yes. took quite a bit of work. Yep. And, and uh, I don't really know what else to say besides um, I'm so happy for you because you deserve this. You deserve to have um, a life as much pain-free as possible because uh, just because you went through those surgeries and just because you dealt with certain things doesn't mean you had to live like that the rest of your life. And as young as you are, you certainly, um, the last thing I would want you to do is go through the rest of your life feeling the way you felt prior to coming in here. That's certainly no way to live. So um, hopefully you all got a little bit out of that. This, this woman has, has certainly proven that you can go through a lot and still be able to have something to look forward to. And, and she's certainly that example. So thank you very much. I appreciate this. Thank you. And I would also like to say, mm -hmm. um, I was on several medications um, for acid reflux and um, since coming to you and the treatments, I'm no longer taking any acid reflux medicine. That's awesome. Um, also pain medication. Mm -hmm. I am almost completely um, off of the pain medication that I was taking. So I would encourage anyone that who is in pain to just give them a try. Because they're great. Yeah. It, it's more than just getting uh, your life back. It's, it's putting your health back together as well. And when you are in health, your body is going to be able to respond so much better uh, rather than uh, living the standard American lifestyle, which isn't very good to begin with. But if you don't make necessary health changes, you're shorting yourself. Um, and this woman, again, did everything she possibly could on her end in order to get the, the best results possible. Um, and again, it shows. So, thank you. Thank you.